Hello, and welcome to another episode of High Point Music's Gear Reviews. In this episode, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. It's the Dr. Acid Skate Fuzz. So the Dr. Acid Skate Fuzz is a fuzz based on the 90s green Big Muff. It's made right here in Queensland on the Gold Coast and it's got some pretty cool features. First of all, it has a skate wheel for its foot switch, which is pretty cool. I know that a lot of work went into actually making that a workable switch and the switch on the back that controls our mid-range and that switch goes from the classic Big Muff scoop through a flat to a pushed mids boosted sound. And then of course we've got a classic volume, tone and gain or sustain setup like most big muffs. So I'm gonna show you what it can do with some low gain and high gain sounds. But first, I'll show you my clean tone. So of course I'm playing my Fender Stratocaster. We're running through the loop pedal into the skate fuzz, out of the skate fuzz into our two notes of clean and that's going off to our recording setup. My bridge pickup sounds like this. Some neck. And of course the fuzz, which I'm gonna just turn that down a little bit, get some low gain sound going. And we're starting off on the no mids option, which is the classic scoop. So we'll dial that gain slightly forward. Set the tone control neutral. A little bit of a jump from there to about the nine o'clock position. A lot of volume on tap, so I just keep a finger on that volume control. It slowly saturates. So it really starts there at about that nine o'clock position. And with the tone control in the middle, I'll just switch you through those mid-range options. It's a big push. So we're gonna go again from nothing to a sort of flat to a push mix. Get that gain up. And again, no mids to a flat mids. To a pushed mix. And then go a little bit harder on the gain control. Mid scoop to flat mix. To the pushed mix. back and then full gain would be fairly similar kind of frequency response change so sweep you through the tone back down below 12 it's pretty bassy there But of course, if we go to the flat mids response, that tone control changes a fair bit. It's not quite as sharp sounding. And when you back it off, that tone control picks up a lot of extra usable movement with the flat mids sound. And then to the pushed mids. There we go. Just a 
start at minimum tone. So before this was quite dull on the normal setting. To that neutral. To that cranked tone control. So a huge range of sound to go from that to that. So that's the standard big muff mid scoop sound to the pushed mids. And alternately, when the tone controls all the way down, you lose all that presence and high end from the signal. So a pretty useful switch to have for using the pedal to cover a bunch of sounds. You know, you can pull your gain right down. And with that mids pushed, you're getting more of an overdriven tone to my ears. It's pretty unobtrusive compared to that. So as you will have heard, that control to change the mid-range response makes it basically three pedals. I'm not a huge fan of some fuzz pedals that have too much of a mid scoop. I think the mids are a really important frequency for the guitarist to be able to be heard in the mix or in a band situation if you're just jamming. Usually when you punch that pedal on and you've got the mid-range there, it scoops you out of the mix and you're lost, which the only way you can compensate is with a huge amount of volume and it just becomes a mess. So being able to add that mid-range either at a flat response or a pushed response, you not only get all of that frequency back that makes you able to be heard, but it increases the range of the tone control that I think is good from about 10 to about three o'clock, really to the, uh, the total limits of that tone pot. If you're interested in the classic sound, it's got it, but if you want some bit more of a modern sound or you're using different amplifiers that have different mid-ranges themselves, you can really use that to tailor your tone to the music you're playing, the guitar you're playing, or whatever amplifier you happen to be using. So that makes it extremely versatile. I also like how easy it is to turn this pedal on. Normal foot switches aren't that bad, really, but if you don't have shoes on, you're just playing at home, or maybe you don't play with shoes on, you like standing around in bare feet on stage, that's pretty hard to miss, that switch. And it clicks under your foot, it's a noticeable movement. It's very, very easy to know that it's been turned on. So I think a lot of work has gone into how the pedal looks, how the pedal sounds, and capturing that classic 90s sound, and giving it a bit more of a twist to make it more usable for the modern day guitarist. So that's the Dr. Acid Skate Fuzz. If you're interested in checking one of those out, you can follow the link below. The link for the blog will also be below where I'll go into a little bit more detail about how you can use those settings and why they are so useful. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe comment, let, let us know what you're enjoying, any suggestions you may have. I'd love to hear what you think of the sound. If you've used one before, if you've got one that you want to show me, make a video and tag us so that we know to give it a listen. It would be really cool to see what you're doing with them out there. And thank you very much for watching.